Welcome back, everybody. Some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Our little, little, little mini series looking at the um, Elite High <clears throat> for each course from Vortex Valley today. Favourite courses, but you know, we'll see what we can do on it. So, as I said, it's in um, Elite High mode. Standard club, standard balls. We'll see what we can do. Oh, we can miss the first shot. Gone left. Might get away with it. Might get away with it. <clears throat> Our Jesus loves us today. So not quite where I'd intended it, but you know, I'll take it. Pin's a little bit short. And it's a little bit uphill, so we're going to play a little bit of backspin. Oh, that's not bad, is it? Hey, I'll take a foot. It's a birdie at the start. 19 under is my best score, but I suspect that was custom clubs. Actually, that's pretty good for me, 19 under on here. It's not one of my favourite courses. It has a little bit more altitude than the last couple, so... A lot of the shots you'd play, you've got to adjust for the height. Like this one needs a bit more because it's just a little bit higher up. Eh, not bad. I was a bit lazy. I didn't want to go up another club there. I should have done really. <clears throat> it's a birdie birdie start. Big fan of a birdie birdie start. Let's just see how well we carry on. It's a par five. Again, your issue here is just pitching this in the right spot. You don't want it going too far. You don't want to roll out right. You don't want to roll out left. Be right. So I suspect that's going to end up on the inside somewhere. Unless I get really lucky. Oh, I've got a little skiddy bounce. It's going to go all the way off the left, though, I think. That's the margin on this hole. So we're going to have to hit this out the rough. Went a fair old way, though. So it's 200 yards, 4 iron, out the rough. It's a nice deep pin. So we can um, give it a good old-fashioned belt. Wind should hold it a bit. On the green. I'm going to chase up to the back. That's not bad as it turns out. <laughs> and we're there for two. So we get an eagle pup. Not an easy one, though. Get in there. So four under. Again, it's all about the approach shots. So you can get it nice and close. Give yourself an easy pup. Now, I could try that and hit it over the top. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. We can probably play to here and play another shot at the green. Better off getting it on the short stuff than ending up in some rough or some water. <coughs> Massive cactus in the way, that's okay. Green slopes left to right? Yep. Gone a bit left. Should correct back a little bit. So, pace was good. Line was... Look at all that shot sway. It's a 15 foot again. Sloping downhill. Breaking to the right. This time for a birdie. Ah, oh, broke too late for me. Touched too much pace on it. So we cancel the eagle out with a par. <coughs> It's a four under. Five. Right. If you're going to go for this, you've got to go for it. And that means ultra backspin, power shot, the whole nine yards. Get up there. Or oh, when he does get up there.
It's a 27 foot for the eagle. Sloping uphill. Breaking to the right. Get in the hole. Get the eagle back straight away. Six under. Now six is an interesting hole. All the way downhill. The trick is to land it on here. And try and hold it. And then chip down to the green. You try and do it in one. It just bounces off the front. Oh, look, that's gone miles. How old? It's oh, a little bit worried for a second there. I'll confess. That's okay. Again, 10 foot parts, you want to be inside 6 foot, for sure. Got it, though. 7 under. Par 3. Now, should be able to just use normal... Wow, that little lump in front of it. That always worries me. Let's go for a little bit of backspin. Because <clears throat> if you hit that lump, it'll just ping all over the place. A bit like that. Yeah, it's in the water. <clears throat> this is not what I was going for. I've got the drop, though. I suppose because we did pitch. Inbounds. Can we rescue it? Not quite. I'm going to take a bogey. Oh, mistake. That's the difficulty, though. Just the altitude and some of the surfaces just make it a bit harder. So there's a little bit more opportunity to make a mistake. It's a powerful. So eight. I'm kind of feeling. I'm kind of feeling. I'm going to go for this shot. Suzuki won't like it. He does like it. I never like it when he likes it. Just skipped along there. Oh, that's all right. It's going to be in the rough, but we're so close. Again, difficult to get it close, but let's try. It's a seven foot. Got it. <coughs> so deliberately didn't go for the fairway there. Still got the birdie. Nine. Let's give it all the beans. Should get a bit of a run. Have it 431 on here with custom clubs. So 200 to go. So the question is, do you go for that pin? I think we're going to go for it. It's downhill at least. Four iron. We're going to absolutely nail the backspin, which we have. We've missed, but we're close. Well, I say we're close. We've rolled away miles. So we're 50 yards away and 14 yards up. That's not good. Super pods now, much to add on. Yeah, much too much. But we're on the putting surface. Birdie pup, admittedly a difficult birdie pup. We've made it hard for ourselves. But what could we do? Hold the putt to the answer. Oh, get in there. You shouldn't rely on that putting. So, eight under for the first nine. Two eagles. A par and a bogey. Mm. But again, you're always going to make mistakes on this course. It's about keeping them to a minimum. <clears throat> it's a ten. 
I've practiced this hole a lot. You've got two choices. One is to play down here and interfere with that bunker. The option I like is this one. It's just to play up here and have a longer shot from a slightly elevated position. <clears throat> so T's behind the rock. It's a little bit downhill. Can we get it close? That's not bad. Can he give us a birdie pop? Gotcha. Now 11's a bit tricky. The first shot's fine. It's the second shot that gets you. Because you've got to hit it uphill and a long way. <coughs> Excuse me. And hitting a long way to an elevated green is difficult. And I think I've tucked myself in a little bit as well. And it's quite narrow, the point we're trying to hit as well. And we got it close. Just on the front. Look at that. There you go. That's how you do it. I'll take that one. I've got the pub. Ten under. Approach is definitely not as good as um we were on Alpina, but that's to be expected. Canelo, sorry, that's, that's to be expected though. This is a tougher course. This one gets a little skid off the bare ground usually. Just the front here, and we just made the fairway. That's better. Sometimes you're a little bit shorter if the wind's against you. That's the spot to put it in. So 175. <clears throat> Again, elevated. I'm going to go up a club and I'm going to backspin it. Definitely want it up on the passing surface. Thank you. Not too fast. It's a bit long. Better long than short here. <clears throat> so we get another eagle chance. Get in there. 12 under. It's just the two par threes next. So 13 is the easier of the two. Oh, it's got left hand swipe. <coughs> Not quite on the front. Just on the semi rough. Can we chip it onto the pin though? I think we can. Got it. So got the birdie. Then the second one. Is a par three. A little bit elevated. Maybe a smidgen more club. Oh, I might have given that too much. <coughs> it's right at the back of the green anyway. No, it's all right, I think. Just a bit past, but not nothing major. So we've got an 11 foot putt. Sloping hill. Breaks to the left. This is a difficult one because it's uphill and it's going to bend left. And they kind of interact. The more pace you put on it, the less it bends. But. Oh, wow. Right line, not enough pace. <clears throat> so we missed that birdie. Yeah, it's a 15, the par 5. Again, you've got to kind of be a little bit careful where you drive it. We should be okay. 
with the longer clubs you're going to be really careful you don't drive it out off the left hand edge we should be alright here, the slope of the fairway we should just bring it back there we go it's a 2.40 to go and we might go for this Definitely short's better than long here. You do not want to go in the water. Oh. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Okay. Can't be helped. It's the problem of woods downhill. They just go on and on and on and on and on. We'll make the par, though. It's the one advantage of having gone for it. You do get a chance of getting up and down for the part. Feels like a missed opportunity though. There's an eagle there if you could have held the green. It's a powerful. It's a 16. Again, nothing majorly difficult here. Just get a good position on the fairway. And then approach up over the water. Went a little bit left, but I think it's okay. So pretty much dead on 100 yards. Let's just float it up there and see where it goes. The answer is left. Good, good. And that's okay. Get the birdie. That's just a 14. 17. Again. It's a powerful... Depending on how brave you're feeling in the wind. You can kind of go this side or you can go this side. I'm going to go this side. I mean, you can be really brave and go here and try and get a kick off this surface. Oh, I've got the ultra top spin. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> what might have got too much? Hopefully, yeah, the fairway normally helps you out and brings you back to the left. I can't imagine you'd actually drive it out off the right. It's a 73 to go. Huh. Yeah. Not the best approach shot in the world. However, birdieable. Is that a word? Got it. It's a 15. So we're going to come up shy of our best score at 19. But that was custom clubs. Sadly, I don't have the length to hit through here. Much as I'd like to. Ah, a little bit of wind here. Actually, I'm not happy with that. Let's just tuck in a bit more. Get a little bit of fade on it. Just to try and get it on the right line. That's okay. So, 100 yards to go. So we're going to finish on 16 under. Not bad. Get ourselves a good score set. Got to take those mistakes out. Really got to take that bogey out on seven. But again, there's 19 unders definitely there. You know, I could definitely equal my best score with the standard clubs. Yeah, missed a cup, missed a fairway, missed two greens, I think. Didn't need many chip ins, which is always a good sign. But we did need to hold an almost 30 foot pot. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, please leave me a comment, particularly if you think I'm going to fall apart as we get to the harder courses. And I'll see you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf.